Glunson Jensen would like to introduce the new Plate Writer 2000. Making plates with the Plate Writer 2000 couldn't be easier. It's supplied complete with everything you need, including a Harlequin rip. Plates are not light sensitive. You simply remove them from the box when you need them, in full daylight, and insert them into the back of the plate writer. Here you will see some alignment pins, and the plate is positioned next to the alignment pins. Then simply slide the plate into the plate writer. The plate writer will automatically detect the plate and load it for you. Optical sensors register the width of the plate and the position of the plate ensuring perfect accuracy every time. If you put the plate in skewed, it will detect this and reject the plate. Then we use inkjet technology to apply the image to a blank plate. Because the plate is blank, there are no photosensitive coatings. There are no light sensitive coatings. There are no thermal coatings. In fact, there are no coatings on the plate that need to be removed. So there are no processes, no light sensitive requirements, and no chemicals involved. This couldn't be simpler. After imaging, the plate is ejected at the front of the plate writer. An audible tone can be heard so a graphic designer or a user in another room can then come to the plate writer, remove the plate and place it on the front of the finishing unit. The finishing unit simply applies a gentle heat to bond the image onto the plate to make it capable of approving 40 to 50,000 impressions on press. Once the plate has been cured, it will be gummed by the integrated gumming unit and then it will appear on the exit tray at the rear of the plate rider. The plate is now a press ready plate. It's finished, gummed, ready for storage or use on the press immediately and is one of the most environmentally friendly ways of making a plate today.